I'm an animal person. I appreciate the beauty of them. I just like to see everything live. I like uh, living things. Tamol is cultivated by destroying rainforests. Home of many orangutans. That means palma oil is actually destructive and unsustainable. They come in and bulldoze everything. Every species is annihilated in that area. It's incredibly sad that rescuing an orangutan from where it should be at home. She's pregnant. She's pregnant? Yeah. Is this going to affect the baby? No. I'm chosen by orangutans to help them. Less than 10% of sharks are left. The world without sharks will have a total collapse in our oceans. Without the ecotourism keeping them worth more alive than dead, exactly. they simply would not be here. We have a chance of getting lucky and finding closures between guys from the border of Gilda. We're able to deploy K9 units and ranges rapidly. I've been able to save many animals on the brink of death. If you protect the ecosystem, also you are protecting your own health. When you see a rhino that has been poached, then you decide that guy is going to hunt you down. It's all a function of increasing affluence in those places which demand rhino horn. The demand lies within ancient medicine that there's no purpose for. Rhino horn is made out of the same thing as your fingernail. I mean, these are the last two female northern white rhinos um, in existence in the world. There's only two left, and we're racing against time. Trophy hunting, some false show of masculinity that people want to go out there and act tough. This bill, SB 1487, could actually preserve the last of our most endangered species on this planet. Is money really that important when it comes down to it? We have to place more value on life. A dead elephant is one hunting fee to usually a dictator. It never gets to the people. Clear. We're involved with protecting the environment, protecting animals. The meat industry is the greatest negative impact against both of those things. We've lost a lot of funding uh, because I'll put my hand up and I'll talk on behalf of all animals. Living that plant-based lifestyle, the first thing that I cut out was dairy. And I knew that these cows were enslaved. Just like you wouldn't eat a dog, you're not going to eat a pig once you make that connection. <laughs> A lot of different farm animals have the emotional intelligence of a three-year-old child. It's a critical thing to understand, this dichotomy of ingesting the very thing that we would care for in any other situation. I've got a 200 mile an hour billboard promoting the vegan diet. It's trying to make people think about their day-to-day -day habits for our planet. The plant-based diet should affect positive changes for the well-being of animals and people. I am carrying the bill SB 1138. It requires hospitals, prisons to provide a plant-based meal option. This is just the beginning of much to come um, with leading in this plant-based movement. When they ask, don't you want to go up on a hill, man, and get some people to pay attention? I just think it's a cool thing. Pushing veganism means we save like 54 million land animals a year, everybody. You want to make better decisions for your body, your health, the planet that you're leaving for your children? <laughs> These are the decisions. The best thing we could do is manage the beautiful things we have. And animals fit right into that category.